So while it's heating up, sometimes you hear some weird noises. So it's at 192, it's trying to go to 210, which I find that actually uh, not hot enough to actually print correctly the filament that I'm using, which was the filament that they sent. And uh, I usually have to go around 230 or 235. But right now the temp is at 208 out of 210, it says. I did order a replacement cable for the LCD as one of the Kate one of the wires uh, came out of its housing so I had to reattach that 206 so let's see if this will actually print it's at 208 no, oh, it dropped down to 207. It, and this is additional, this is another problem I've been having where basically the uh, Godama just shuts off. Now let's see if I can print out the drag chain. So if we go to file, drag chain Pico, there's no underscores. Let's see if I can get the other behavior. Oh. There we go. So every time I try to, and this is sliced with the Pango software. Let's see if I can get that to. So hit file, drag chain. And it immediately stops. This is using their own software. See, so now I'm going to ch choose auto print. Temperature is going down. I have the heated bed plugged in. Temperature is just going down. And this and this auto print does not have the build or the the uh, bed level or the bed uh, printing at temperature. Oh, and there it shut off again. See? It's not responding. Seems like the only way to get this to work is physically removing the power, the, the battery or the uh, cable and plugging it back in. And this is the power supply from Kodama. Let's go back to trying to print this. going down in temperature again. It's attempting to auto print. It's actually back up to 143. It's 
stop this and try to go. Let's see if I can. So X. Doing the control. So X. Y. So the Y has done nothing. Otherwise, back and forth. Z. They're probably making noise because. Alright, let's hit home then. Have it go back to home. And then I'll try to print out another file. So if we go menu. Uh, print SD. Once it homes in, I'll hit drag chain. I don't know if you guys can see the file file names. There's no underscores. They're both P codes. I want to use the second one, which is the drag chain file I have. See? And then it just stops. But that last little bit was indicative of kind of what I've been seeing as well. Print SD, drag chain. Let's go with file. Oh, and it just shut off again. And now it's giving me a blinking blue and green light. Turn it off. Turn it on, doesn't do anything. I have to plug it back in. Still nothing. Plug it back in. It comes back to life. Now I was using the Prusa card. Switch back to the Trinus. Attempting to do the auto print right now again. Let's hit stop on that. This is the other, that last little bit of sound. I, I don't know what it's doing. Drag chain again. And just stop the file. So that's kind of what I've been experiencing. And here's another one of the issues. Seems like the, I don't know if it's getting enough power or it gets misaligned or I don't know what is causing this, but. I'm going to stop.
stop it. It's currently not trying to do anything, movement or otherwise. And it seems to be this is this is the big the big issue I was I was trying to showcase in that it makes these weird noises and won't do anything to print. It'll just and this is again just using trying to use the auto print. Alright, so I think I'm gonna call it and I'll edit and post this video up tonight and hopefully Konami can take a look at it realize what's wrong with this printer and hopefully you know send me out a new power supply or controller board um, or whatever it, they think the issue is so thanks for watching everybody and don't forget to uh, like subscribe and uh, share this video and I'll see you next time